following two properties each row is sorted in the non decreasing order which means each row is sorted in the increasing order you can just assume okay increasing like non decreasing is increasing but repeating characters now the first digit of the each row is greater than the last digit of the previous row which means the first digit of the next row is greater than the last digit of the previous row and we know it is increasing like this so for sure the next number is gonna be more than this number because it is increased like this so we also know one thing okay it is increasing in this fashion also and it is increasing in this fashion also so we can also assume okay it is increasing like this fashion okay it is increasing then increasing and then increasing like this so what we can assume of is okay it's an entire thing which is increasing in this fashion and for sure the last element will be the biggest and it is increasing it is increasing and it is increasing now what we are assumed and what we are uh, told to do is find an integer called as target if this target is there we can return a true else return the false if it is not in the uh, problem for example we are asked okay 3 is present yeah i can see 3 is present so please return a true we are asked okay 13 is present oh sorry 13 is not present so please return a false now for sure first thing which comes in my mind is the brute force way which means if i need to search an element i'll simply go and ask and see in my entire matrix if that element is present simply say okay if it is present simply give me that element but yeah you have to go and search for the entire matrix in this so time is o of n into m but 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 um, you did not use the property although if i just ask you if it is not sorted still you would have uh, used it in o of n cross m you did not use the property that it is actually sorted so if it is actually sorted then for sure something kind of you can apply binary search on it now when i say binary search aryan binary search would be hard right because how would i know if i if i got the element number seven i have to go in to number five or i have to go in down you are confused or maybe if i just ask you well, let's say you are at number 16 then where you will go you will go at 11 you will go at 13 oh you saw what's happening if you were at here number seven you are confused you have to go at five or number 20. oh if you are at number 16 you are confused you have to go at 11 or number 34. so basically what you can assume is oh i can just tilt this entire stuff down and if after tilting it can become something like this this as a root now this became a binary search tree so rather than going on to every element exactly once i can assume it is a binary search tree and i know if the number is more than for example the number i want to search off is 13 if the number is more than number 7 i will go on in the right so this down part became a right of it for a tree i have a left and right so for this down it became a right so that is we just changed the perspective of viewing it and for sure i could not uh although i tried to paste this picture and tilt it but i could not because it's it's not supported by one node so i use this picture existing picture but yeah you know this now you will not go into this entire stuff you will not go into this entire stuff what you will do is you will go here now you are at 20 you want to again search for 13 13 is 13 is less than 20 so you will not go in this entire stuff for sure you will not go into the entire stuff which means it is gone now you will just go into this again for this part you again have two options is 13 less than 16 okay it is less so for sure you will not go into the entire part of the right part so that is how your entire imagination of this as a grid is changed to a binary search tree and just you can just assume okay you are just going when i say i'm going right in the tree i'll just go down right when i so when i say i'm going left in the tree i'll just go right left right so it is just imagining this as tilted and that's how if i oh i landed at 11 which is okay i could not find a 13 because after this 11 i can only go less than less than so for sure I could not find the 13 so for sure return a false so that's how in the worst to worst case what could have happened you could have just gone down 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 and right left 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 so worst case you could have traveled m plus n in this entire matrix so the time is m plus n from m into n you just came down to m into m plus n now how to do it simply as simple as possible just get the row and column for this and as you know okay if you want to go left so what you will do is you will simply okay if it is r comma c you know it is just one column left right so r comma c minus one it is one column one row down so it is r plus one r plus one comma c and that's how you can simply keep on moving depending upon if the number you are finding if it is less or more let's see the code quick, pretty quickly as we saw we will initialize from zero comma m minus one which is this particular 
सेल राइट एज एंड आई विल सिंपली कीप ऑन गोइंग अंटिल आई एक्सीड माई ग्रेड अंटिल आई एम डन विद माई ग्रेड I'll, I'll keep on finding. Now, when I try, when I say I will find, I will simply get the current number. If this current number is equal to target, I am already good. I should return a true. If not, then I will ask him. If that number which I am at, if it is less than my target, oh, which means if I am less than my target, I have to do a row plus plus. If the number which I am finding, finding, if that number is more than, if the if the number which I am at, if it is more than this target number. Or if the number which I am at is uh, is less than this number called as target, so I will just go a uh, go do and simply increase my row. So I'll, I'll do a simply row plus plus. So I know if the if my current number is less than my target, I will simply do a row plus plus. Else I can simply do a column minus minus as we showed here. I'll do a simply column minus minus, and that's how I can simply go and solve it. And if still it could not land onto this target matrix, simply return a false. And that's how you can just simply reduce the complexity to O of m plus n. But 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 if you still remember, the question was still saying, can we do it in O of log of m into n? Still, which means that we can optimize it. Now let's see, we can how how we can what to optimize it. Now we saw we use a binary search tree. But for sure, as we were saying, okay, we have to search in a linear, uh, we have to search in an array. So for sure, the picture comes in our mind is binary search. Now we have learned how to apply a binary search in a linear array and not on a matrix. So. What's an issue? Simply convert this matrix to a linear array. Are it, how is that possible? Simply say, what in a matrix you know? You know the coordinates. Okay, it is 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 0, 2, 1, 2, 2, and 2, 3. Right. How about if I just give every of them as a number? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I, I just give a simple number. Now, I am just saying, I am converting this entire matrix to just one, one rows and are appending after it. Okay, it is just 0, 1, 2, 3. It is just one row of the matrix. It is another row of the matrix. It is another row of the matrix. Now, you saw, okay, now it is linearly sorted. You know, remember by? Because you exactly remember. In actual question, it was specifically mentioned. The last, the, the, the next row, first column is actually more than the last row, last column, right? So it is for sure sorted in this order. It's just that, okay, I gave the number, I know the coordinates. Now, I need to find, okay, I have these kind of numbers with me, which is from 0 to 11. Okay, I can just simply print it down. That's okay with me. But I need to, I need to connect these numbers, which means I need to make a kind of a map or something that, okay, with this number as 7, I can get an okay. The coordinate is 1, comma 3. Now, for this, you can make a map or use an extra space for that. But we are smart. We will find a pattern that, okay, how we can actually transform these coordinates to actual single number that we can use a single number later on in the future. How we can do that? Simply, if you just look at the pattern itself, you will just and see. That's the best part. I showed you one pattern just to view that grid finally. It is another pattern which you will actually encounter a lot in the problems that converting one, converting a coordinate to just one number and that one number can be used to convert back to coordinates. For example, I can just uh, write this 0 as 0 into 4 plus 0. Now, why 4? 4 is just to get the M. Now, Aaron, how you know, you got to know, how you know that you have to write this? Simple as simple as that. You know one thing, it is a 3. So, for sure, a 4 will never come in here. So, next time, you know that, okay, the row is a 0. Next row will be 1. So, for sure, I can just have 4 in the next row. Here I know, okay, the row is 2. I can have an 8 in here. So I know, okay, I can start with something as, I have some specific row, let's say x, y is my coordinate. So I, I know, okay, it is my coordinate x. If I multiply with my m, I will go on to that particular cell. I can go to that particular cell row. That particular cell row. Now, with that cell row, I also need to go to the column. Now, to go to the column, you know simply if you just ref if you just reference this as the first row, it is a simple zero. Simply the first column, second column, third column, fourth column. So it is just simply the indexing of that. Okay, zero, one, two, and three. So I can simply add that up. Or if still you are not familiar with it, just simply saying, okay, I have any coordinate. Let's pick as five. 
It is just okay. One into four plus one. Four. Why four? Why specifically four? Because I know I'm going in this direction. In this direction. I know after m times it will again has to come back to the next row. So after m times it has to again come back to the next row. So for sure that next m should be added in the next row itself. So for the next row I am multiplying that so that it becomes big and then I will add simply my coordinates of phi to actually get the actual values. Same, if I had a 1 comma 1, I just used a 1 into 4 plus 1 to actually get the number 5. Or with this number 5, you can also say, okay, 5, you know, 5 is a number. Now, you know, you are multiplying. 5 is a number you got with x plus x into m plus y. So for sure, x into m. If you just, if you just simple do a mod m, mod m, x into m, x into m, mod m plus y into m this whole stuff is zero because it is a multiple of it is a multiple of m so multiple of m mod m is actually a zero now it is remaining it is remaining so y mod m is actually nothing but simple y which we had because simply you know that we did the y with mod m y y mod m is actually y itself because you are never exceeding m m is 4 while y will actually go on 0 1 2 and 3 while only go on to 0 1 2 and 3 while go on up to 0 1 2 and 3 that's the reason you will simply say okay it is y so y is actually your m mod m and simply by the same stuff your x will be your number 5 by m and that's how with this number itself with this number this number this number 9 itself you can get to know the coordinates which is 2 comma 1 so rather you like rather you can keep a map but why to use a space which means m cross n space you would be using we will not use a space we will simply use a converting those coordinates to a numbers and now i know i can just simply do a binary search on these numbers now as i am doing binary search i know if i land onto this location I can get the coordinates of this 5. I can get the coordinates of this 5. From this coordinates, I can get the value of this particular coordinates. And with this, I can actually do a binary search. So you are indirectly doing a binary search by using this value, which will convert to actual coordinates, which will convert to actual values of the matrix. And that's how you can actually do the binary search. Linear binary search is what we know. That's the reason we converted this matrix into a linear array to actually do a binary search on that part. Right. So same as I showed you, if I have a number 7, I will get the x coordinates by 7 by 5 uh, by m and y by 7 mod m getting m you actually know it was actually a 4 so simply we get uh, x equal to 1 y equal to 3 with this x equal to 1 y equal to 3 we actually know okay what is actual x equal to 1 y equal to 3 we had the value as 20 so if in this location 7 i have value as 20 so ultimately i have got the value as 20 at this location number 7. So simply as we know x is value by m, y is value mod m and I just proved it above that how you can actually drive it up but yeah with this you can get the actual values. Coming back to the simple binary search which we do on a linear array if you have not watched this please go and watch the complete binary search intuition building place that would be super 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 helpful but again uh, we have a low we have a high low as you know it's a zero uh, and high as you know it is nothing but n into m minus one because it is nothing but indexing simple one two three five seven eleven eleven you know it is a 12 uh, and like you have entirely four cross three which is 12 so ultimately the indexing will end at 11 which is n into m minus one so you know to get high is n into m minus one now simply if you do a binary search you have seen many videos of ours you know it's a standard it's a standard stuff which you use while l is less than equal to h we find the mid although you can also find the mid as l plus h by 2 that's simply as simple as that that's no more required but yeah for safety we just use h minus l plus l by 2 but yeah you can also use l plus h, h by 2 because the constraints were pretty low now when you have got the mid you have to check if the mid is actually the target or not so i will just go and check now when i say mid mid is just a number i have to get the coordinates so from the mid i will get the coordinates which is mid by m and mid mod m but with this okay i've got the coordinates but i will compare my number target with the grid actual number so with this coordinates i got the actual number from the matrix and then i compare that with my target if it is equal i'll simply return a true but if it is not which means if it is less so for sure if something is less i have to go and check for the higher part so i'll do a simply l equal to mid plus one else i can do a simply h equal to mid minus one ultimately if it found here so it will return a true but if it could not find it will simply return a false in the end by this you know that okay you have a linear array size of m cross n 
with this m cross n a linear array size you are doing a binary search on this linear array and simply if you know if you do a binary search on the linear array of size n it comes to as a o of log n but here the array size is m cross n of a linear size so your binary search complexity will, will actually be a o of log of m cross n because here the size of the array is actually m cross n and that's how you can simply solve it by this the code is on below i hope that you guys you guys got all the three parts especially the part uh, especially the way two and three the way to the way to we actually learn how we can actually uh, visualize the array as a binary search tree and in the way three we actually re uh, realized and learn how we can actually analyze a grid as a linear array and do a binary search on that part cool thank you so much for watching uh see you in the bye bye